So good afternoon. I fixed now the issue with my oil pressure switch for the warning light in the indicator panel and the speedometer. And just to show you on how they work, this thing here sticks out uh, out of the engine block down there. And this is the float switch, which is mounted like this. And when you turn it upside down, it makes contact. And what you have to do on those is they got two holes and you have to clean them out. The lower one is the oil entry. And that's where the oil actually entered. And the problem I had besides this thing here wasn't plucked up. I had a bad wire. And the wire was here. That is this wire here. It's the brown black one coming from the other side over here from this connector. And uh, you can see this is pin number three. I'm going to go on here and see if we can see this nicely. Number three, right the top one here. And that's the brown, black one. Uh, blue, green is your reservoir for the windshield wiper fluid. It runs along the firewall, then goes over and enters the main wiring harness. And you can see this, I just placed a, a high temperature automotive wire in there. And it goes all the way back to the connector. I resorted the connector. And now we can take a look at this and see how this actually works. Uh, uh, yeah, you're gonna have to content with the warning buzzer. So we got all lights on. There we go. And all lights are off. So it was a two-fold problem. For one is we had the issue with the, I'm going to turn the AC on. Uh, for one is we had the issue with the, with the switch itself that the housing channels tubes were plucked up. Carburetor cleaner cleaned that out and I put it back in. It's the original switch and then the broken wire and the wiring harness. And uh, basically that concludes the repair of that item. I'm glad I don't have to order a new switch for this. You have a great afternoon.